Here we go. iPhone 12s are here, and the first thing I want to know about this new iPhone is how tough is the ceramic shield? So in the next few minutes, that's what Monty and I are gonna figure out. Then we'll do some other terrible things to this product. So this is what the iPhone 12 looks like. It looks like an oversized iPhone 4. So here's what we're gonna do for this test for the ceramic shield. Remember this, this iPhone that I didn't wanna drop in my previous review because I'm saving it for something? Well, this is the thing that I'm saving it for. I'm gonna smush this screen and I'm gonna smush this screen with this force meter to see what the difference is. Cause Apple says that the ceramic shield on the iPhone 12 is supposedly much tougher. Wait, you're gonna break the new one? Yeah. I'm nervous. You're nervous? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, iPhone 11, you've treated me so well. This is actually a really new iPhone 11. I bought it during the uh, isolation period and I forgot to return it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like holding my breath. <laughs> oh. <gasps> no. Oh, I didn't even record. <laughs> 352. So that would have been an epic fail if we weren't recording everything. The iPhone 11, the screen, broke at 352 newtons on my force meter. So I've turned on the peak, everything's on. Let's uh, do the ceramic sheet, center mass. Here we go. Oh. Oh. 442. It took a lot more effort to do what I just did to this iPhone 12. I haven't even turned it on. Like. <laughs> I'm so sad. All right, let's uh, find out how tough the screen, scratch protection wise. Now before we go and scratch the uh, iPhones with my Mose picks and other related items, I don't do this for fun. I'm an accessories reviewer and so I need to know the limits of the products that I'm gonna be reviewing accessories for. So knowing that the screen protector or the screen on the iPhone 12 is that much tougher, um, means that I definitely won't recommend a cheap screen protector or even maybe a mid-grade screen protector, right? Because there's almost no point to it, right? So that's what I do. That's what Mobile Reviews is about. That's what Monty is about. That's what Val, who's holding the camera, say hi, Val. Hi. <laughs> that's what we're about. All right, let's go scratch these phones. Okay, so let's see how Keys and coins. Well, that's kind of cool. Coins stick to the back of the iPhone. Some coins. Let's try to scratch the uh, non-cracked parts. This rock. Bagel. Keys. Bagel. Box knife. Oh, that screen is totally busted. Oh man. <laughs> How sad does that make you, Val? Very sad. I didn't even get to see it like on. <laughs> <laughs> so that is normal. These things won't scratch the screen. That's kind of what they're built for. Glass will scratch between six and seven. Usually you've got some sapphire stuff that will scratch, will be a little tougher. So these lenses will scratch these as well. But these lenses, I've scratched my iPhone 11. They're about eight and actual sapphire screen protectors scratch around nine. So let's see if the ceramic shield is any better in terms of scratch protection. It's actually kind of crazy, this pattern on the iPhone, it's got this like crazy radial pattern, whereas in the one on the uh, iPhone 11, despite taking almost 100 extra newtons, is much finer in terms of uh, the spider webbing. It'll be a lot more difficult to find something to scratch. Six, yeah, that's six. Barely leaves a mark. Seven will definitely leave a mark. All right, so let's try the ceramic shield. Six. I don't really see it. We're in that area? I don't see anything. Crazy, that's kind of cool. Seven, feels like there's a bit of friction there. I'll try this spot. Oh geez, I don't see it. Oh, there's faint scratches. It's there, guys. You guys have to trust me. <laughs> okay, we'll do an eight on this iPhone 11, and this will just mess this thing right up. Nice big gouges. If we do it on this, this piece looks pretty clean. Yeah, eight's gonna do some damage to it. But the seven, I really hope we capture the uh, capture it in the video somehow, because. 
Uh, so that's the screen. Let's do some scuffing of the edges. Now, this is an iPhone 12. Uh, filming up here is an iPhone 12 Pro and it's got the glossy sides. And so kind of like the same thing with the Apple watches is that I think the pros are gonna show wear and tear a lot quicker. These aluminum edges on these cheaper products, cheaper Apple products, cheaper Apple products, are incredibly resilient to scratches, to different materials. I prefer to have an aluminum finish than I would a stainless steel one. So that box knife definitely left a mark. All right, let's take a look at the back glass, see if that stuff is made from ceramic shield as well. Six. <laughs> Seven. Oh, geez. I was using the nine pick. Oh, no. Six. Seven. Okay, that doesn't seem right that the, uh, oh, tiny bit of scratching. But the nine pick, that is oddly surprising to me. Like it is scratching it. But if I was to do the iPhone 11, like this will just, oh, that's about the same. Something wrong with my nine pick. Okay, so back is no different. These things are sapphire crystals. Sixes won't do anything. Sevens, eights. Eights is where it falls apart. That's done. So that's all I got for this video. I'm not a big fan of marketing fluff, so when you know companies say their stuff is stronger and they make it all pretty and shiny on the websites, um, I usually take that with a grain of salt. So this ceramic shield is definitely tougher on the iPhone 12s by quite a bit, um, over 100 newtons. It took a lot of effort to break this screen. The remainder of the iPhone in terms of scratch protection is pretty similar to the iPhone 11. Uh, screen, I think, is a little more scratch resistant. And again, the only reason why I'm doing this is I'm an accessories reviewer, so I need to know the limits of these products to recommend the right accessories. So first time watching my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe, produce some content, I don't know, during iPhone 12 season, quite often. Uh, hit the notification bell so that every single time Monty shows up on YouTube, you get notified.